Is this the future of print on demand? Digisoft Printing from CustomCat combines direct to garment and direct to film printing processes that CustomCat says is bound to revolutionize the print on demand world. I've got a bunch of samples that we're gonna look at, not just the ones behind me. We're actually gonna do a direct comparison of direct to garment and direct to film to Digisoft prints. So stick around and let's find out if Digisoft really is the future of print on demand. Before we jump into this, I do wanna point out that I am tagging this video as sponsored content just to be safe because Custom Cat did provide the two samples you see behind me free of charge. However, they did not ask me to make this video and the other samples that you're going to see, I did pay for myself. And one last thing before we jump into this, I'm gonna have to go ahead and apologize for what the other Jeff did or forgot to do about two hours ago, and that was he forgot to actually film all the close-up footage of these samples before putting them all in the wash. So all the close-up images and footage that you're about to see of these samples will be post-wash. Let's start by just talking for a second about what Digisoft is, according to the information shared by Custom Cat. And while we're doing this, I'll give you some close-ups of the two samples behind me so you can see how those prints came out. Custom Cat says that Digisoft printing is equal parts direct to film and direct to garment printing without any of the limitations of either one. They say that their prints come out ultra vivid with precision detail and high color accuracy and a durable finish that they promise is not as prone to cracking or peeling as the other more traditional print methods. I'll let you decide for yourself if the visual components of those claims stand up to the samples that you can see now. I will say in person, especially that made in Detroit graphic on the sample hoodie they provided has a real photographic quality to it. It really does look like a high accuracy print. And although of course you can't tell this through the video, I would say that their claims that these prints come out softer than other print methods I would say is accurate. They do certainly have a feel to them. It is somewhere in between DTG and DTF. And by in between, what I mean is it's not quite as rough to the touch as DTG can feel. It's definitely a little bit thinner feeling. However, it is still noticeable. It's not like it is completely blended into the fabric. All right, so that's your basic introduction to Digisoft and a look at the samples that Custom Cat provided. But I wanted to take this comparison a step further. So I took a couple of designs and I ordered some more samples from Custom Cat. And then I also ordered some samples of those same designs through Printify using DTG and DTF print methods so that we can compare the two. Let's start with DTG compared to Digisoft. All right, we're gonna start with the DTG printing compared to Digisoft on a Gildan 5000 or 500, depending on whose catalog you're looking in, heavy blend t-shirt. The DTG printed shirt came from Printify print provider Monster Digital. Let's look at some close-up images of these prints side by side so you can tell the difference between how they each interpreted the colors. Now, the first thing that jumped out at me when I saw these two side by side is just how different the color interpretation actually is. And I know the colors may come out slightly different from one print provider to another, even if they were all DTG and we did a comparison of different print providers, there would be some slight variations in how vibrant the colors are. However, it is undeniable there is a significant difference here when we look at Digisoft compared to the DTG printing from Monster Digital. The dark areas of this print file were interpreted in the DTG print as basically black. I mean, they're, they're almost the same color as the garment, whereas the Digisoft print did almost the opposite, where it interpreted this color to be, I think, slightly lighter than the original print file. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's inaccurate or that it's misrepresenting the colors of the file. However, you can't deny it did come out quite a bit lighter in color. Now, if you look at the remaining colors outside of the dark areas, the bright colors are also interpreted a little bit differently. Focus on the blues and some of the teal kind of colors in here. I think you'll probably see that there's more contrast, I think, in the print from DTG, from Monster Digital, compared to Digisoft. However, I don't know that the high contrast is necessarily accurate to the original print file, at least maybe not quite as accurate as the Digisoft print. So I think Digisoft kind of wins a little bit in terms of accuracy to the original. I don't think it's a bad interpretation in the DTG print. Now in terms of feel when it comes to the Digisoft print, one thing you have to remember is that because Custom Cat is saying this is a combination of direct to film and direct to garment, it's going to have a little bit more of that 
solid layer feel, that decal feel, because direct to film takes your design and prints it onto a film, which is then transferred. So the feel is definitely gonna be different. For example, this is our DTG print. And if we just kind of bunch it up where the print is, you might be able to hear a difference. So this is DTG. And this is our Digisoft print. Could you hear the difference there? It sounds different to me and it certainly feels different to me. I'm not gonna say, I wouldn't go as far as to say that DTG feels better, uh, but it certainly feels a little bit more flexible than this Digisoft print does. However, we have not done the wash test yet and we will be doing a wash test. So stick around for that if you wanna know how that turns out. Moving on to the comparison of a direct to film print to Digisoft. Here is where it gets interesting because direct to film is not that old in terms of the print method. It only came around in the last couple of years as a solution or a proposed solution for printing on polyester fabric that doesn't have any cotton in the blend, which traditionally has not been something that works very well with DTG or the ink type printing. And behind me, I have two samples of, again, the same design, one printed with Digisoft and one printed with Direct-to-Film. The Direct-to-Film sample came from print provider, The Dream Junction on Printify. And again, I'll have you look at some close-up shots to compare these while we discuss. I'm gonna skip right to my conclusion on this one. I think this is a clear win for Digisoft printing. Now, kind of ignore the size difference of the print area on both of these because it was my error not uploading the print file in a large enough size for the direct-to-film option that came from the Dream Junction. But once you start looking at the colors, I think this is a clear win for Digisoft. Focus in on the rear bicycle tire as well as the bicycle seat. If you look at the direct-to-film print, from the Dream Junction. It really doesn't look like there's very much detail in those couple of areas at all. But when you look at the Digisoft print, both the bicycle seat and the tire actually have some contrast in those areas of two different colors, which really are almost invisible on the direct-to-film print. So much better color on the Digisoft print, in my opinion. There is a huge crease in this print, and this is how it came. It was, uh, perhaps it was folded up and put in the, uh, the poly mailer bag before it was completely cured or dried. If this was something one of my customers received, you know, I'd be pretty disappointed. And I think this is a big win for Custom Cat because if you're looking for moisture wicking kind of sport themed apparel that for the niches that you go after or for the overall brand of your shop, this is just better quality. As far as what I have personally seen on these types of garments, these polyester moisture wicking garments, I have not seen a better result is in terms of print on demand on these garments. I have never seen a better result than this. So this is a big win in my book for Custom Cat and Digisoft. All right, I have one more sample for you to take a look at, and that is a sample hoodie printed with the POD Insights logo on it. And I didn't get this one really for a DTG comparison to Digisoft, but I did wanna point out one specific thing about hoodies, which also would apply to sweatshirts. And that is that the print area does not have the whole pre-treatment layer around it. It's very common, especially on dark colored garments that are a little bit thicker, that you know ink might soak into a little bit more for a pre-treatment, kind of a heavier pre-treatment to be used, especially on hoodies and sweatshirts. But the downside to that is that the whole area, the whole printable area has this layer of transparent pre-treatment, which makes it pretty stiff. And it does eventually kind of wash out from around where there is no print, but it takes a good two or three washes to come out. And it's never quite as soft as the rest of the garment. And Digisoft solves that problem because there is no pre-treatment on here all the way around the print area. Anywhere that you don't see print, it is the actual fabric. It feels exactly the same as any other part of the hoodie. So you have an improvement there in the overall feel or experience with your hoodies and sweatshirts because you don't have to have that really large stiff area around the print. All right, so that was a comparison of how they all look and feel when they come right out of the package. But do the prints last? Durability is an important consideration, so let's run these all through the wash and see how they look. All right, so unfortunately, as my counterpart pointed out earlier, all of the samples were washed before I did all of the close-up footage. Again, sorry about that. 
but that means you already know the result of how they look after having been washed. I am, however, still gonna point out a couple of things. And I have to say all of the Digisoft prints on the hoodie, the t-shirt, and the moisture wicking shirt, they're all in exactly the same condition they were when they first arrived. So at least on the first wash, extremely durable and there is no change whatsoever. A little bit of positive news for the direct to film print from the Dream Junction, although I still don't like the colors the way they came out as much as the Digisoft print. That really big crease did lighten up a little bit. It's not completely gone. There's still a bit of a crease there, but I'm still giving the win to Digisoft on this one. And on the DTG t-shirt print, again, no real change in the quality of the print. I didn't find any significant areas peeling off. However, I do know from experience that DTG ink prints do start to flake off after a good number of washes. So in the long term, I'm gonna have to sort of preemptively give the win to the Digisoft print because it does seem like it probably will last longer, but keep in mind that is a probably, not a definitely. And finally, for the hoodie print on the sample from Custom Cat, as well as the one that I ordered with the POD Insights logo, same result, completely unchanged from the way it looked and felt when it first came. And I just love the fact that it does not have any of that pre-treatment stiffness all around where there is no print. So I'm really happy with the way the hoodies come out. So I want to know in the comments what you all think of Digisoft compared to the DTG and DTF prints that we compared in this video. Do you think Digisoft is the future of print on demand? You may wanna order some samples for yourself to know for sure whether you'd be interested in creating new listings with Custom Cat or transferring the fulfillment of any of your existing listings over to Custom Cat for Digisoft printing. For me right now, I can say from these samples, I think that the way the, the hoodie or sweatshirt print comes out is a step up from DTG, and I also think that the Digisoft printing on the polyester, moisture wicking, and performance style garments light years better than DTF, at least from the sample that I got. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so YouTube can show the video to more people, and subscribe to the POD Insights channel so you can be notified when I release more videos about print on demand and the Etsy platform. Thanks everybody, see you next time.